How does the spirit soul of a beast enter into the form of a human being? Just like a thief in the prison house, how he becomes liberated. When his term of suffering in the prison house is finished, then he is again free man. And again he is again if he is criminal, he is put into jail. So human form of life is meant for understanding, as I am explaining. The, what is the problem of my life? I do not wish to die. I am put to death. I do not wish to become old man. I am obliged to become old man. Janma me tu jarabadi, dukha do So he just like the same example, a thief, when he is free, if he uh, thinks upon us, that why I was put into this miserable condition of six months prison life, it was so uh, bothersome. Then he becomes actually human being. Uh, so similarly, the human being has got advance and power of deliberation if he thinks that why I am put into this miserable condition. Uh, everyone has to admit that he is in miserable condition. He is trying to become happy, but there is no happiness. So how that happiness can be achieved, that chance is in the human being. But if we receive by the mercy of the material nature, a human being, and we do not utilize it properly. If we uh, uh, misuse this uh, benediction as cats and dogs and other animals, then you have to accept again the animal form. And when the term is finished, it takes long, long duration of time because there is evolutionary process. Uh, so again, he'll come to this human form. When the time is finished, exactly the same example, a thief, when he has finished his term of imprisonment, he's again a free man. But again he comes criminality, again he goes to jail. So there is cycle of birth and death. If we utilize our human form of life properly, then we stop the cycle of birth and death. And if we do not use this human form of life properly, again it goes like cycle of birth and death. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna.